Welcome folks, I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Aaron Ruth Walker. We're gonna look at An Eternity's Gate, trailer number one, with William De Willem Dafoe. I've been saying his name wrong for 20 years. Willem Dafoe, here we go. Tell me, why didn't you say you were a painter? Because I love painting, I have to paint. I've always been a painter, that I know. A born painter. Yes. How do you know? Because I can't do anything else, and believe me, I've tried. I think of myself as an exile. Yo, Vincent. Yes, sales brother. I'm Paul Gauguin. We have to start a revolution, do you understand? Is that Oscar Isaac? We have to create a new vision, a new way of painting. I spent all my life alone in a room. I'd like to find a new light for paintings that we haven't yet seen. There's something inside me. I don't know what it is. What I see, nobody else sees. You're a stranger here. You drink too much. You're hysterical, out of control. I don't want to calm down. It's called the act of painting for a reason. Don't you see that this painting is unpleasant? The townspeople have signed a petition against you. They don't want you to come back. I can't stay here, Vincent. You're surrounded by stupid, wicked, ignorant people. So that's the reason why you cut off your hair. Your vision of the world is quite I thought frightening, it was go. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Sometimes I feel so far away from everything. I, I think like for I'm some weird reason, he's really hot right now. Like, there's been like so many movies. Sometimes they say I'm mad, but a grain of madness is the best of art. Do you believe that God gave you the gift of painting to keep you in misery? I never thought about it that way. Maybe God made me a painter for people who aren't born yet. Tell me, brother, am I a good painter? Not a good painter, that's all. You're a great painter. I wanted so much to share what I see. Now I just think about my relationship to eternity. The way that's shot is very peculiar. Uh, I mean, it's definitely a choice. It's yeah. definitely a style. It, it looks like they're trying to make you feel like you're in a painting yourself. It's interesting that you got that because my feeling was a little different. My feeling wasn't so much that, but more to make you feel how trapped he feels. Mm. Because it's this kind of choker tight shots and stuff like but that. But maybe sort of one and the same, right? Because it's like possible. paintings are really like, a perspective. Yeah, you know. they are kind of like a trap image of one thing. I feel you on that. Yeah. It's it's a it's a chosen perspective of like the painter is selecting what you see exactly. here. Exactly. I think I understand what you're saying there. But like I definitely felt uncomfortable just on the trailer. The only thing I can think of to compare this to is Mother. You didn't see Mother, right? Okay, Mother, it was shot with three angles the whole movie. Like he just oh, wow. used the same three I think three lenses or three angles over and over again throughout the film, save for super wide shots or something. But most of it like was the same lens and same angle and it's Jennifer Lawrence, right? Yeah, and okay. it, it gave you the sense of feeling trapped, of feeling claustrophobic is the okay. word I'm looking for, where you you feel you feel very claustrophobic, and I think that's what he's feeling like he's just trying to break free and he yeah. just wants to express himself, and all these people are trying to you know contain him in this jar basically. He's like, no, you can't. It's like, but this makes sense to me. It's like a nice parable in a way because it, you can, I think anyone can kind of relate to this, whether it's you're religious or whether you want to be an actor or some kind of other artist or a musician, whatever it is. Yeah, or even something simple as like, you don't wanna follow in the family business. You don't wanna take over your dad's company. Right, You know, it's whatever it is, like you might feel boxed in because people are trying to push you or, or trying to tell you, no, don't do that. Yeah. Do this other thing over here. This makes more sense. Especially in the Asian community, you'll find that a lot where, you know, someone will wanna be an artist of some kind and they'll be like, no, you gotta be a doctor. You gotta be an engineer, you gotta do this. Right. So I feel like this is really, actually really re relatable. I like the moral of the story at the very least. It seems like despite him being crazy and, and whatnot and kind of losing his mind, there is a silver lining there, which is like his, his work is remembered and it yeah, is and revered. I think that's an interesting perspective to take with such an iconic artist because something 
you know, we all kind of know about, especially with visual artists, it happens a lot with novelists too, is that they're generally, they hit their peak of fame after their death. And so yeah. this idea of chasing something in your life that we all know he get, he gets, yeah. Which is really interesting as an audience member because for us he's one of the most famous painters of all time mm -hmm. and one of the most talented and revered uh, and studied and remembered. But in his life he didn't see that, you know. And so it's it's sad how often that happens. It, it is really sad, and yeah. so it's it's kind of I think a beautiful story to tell. Yeah. And also I think this has like cinematography awards written all over it. It's just yeah. the it's gorgeous looking. The, the thing you're talking about just now is, is fascinating because you see that happen so much especially with some of the people we still remember today like in acting um James, oh, what's his name? The famous, most famous James. I think it's James. Oh, James Dean. James Dean, yeah. He made three movies. Yeah, he made three movies. He like. died He died in his early 20s, and he's like immortalized. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, Bruce Lee is another great example, because he yes. he never actually saw the height of his fame. He's still remembered to this day as the guy. Yeah. And oh, that was years, that was decades ago. He, yeah. died right, he died right before Enter the Dragon came out. There's a lot of weird stories like that, and it's just crazy. And, and uh, he, Heath Ledger. I mean, I, yeah, I was gonna say, Heath you know. it's maybe on a smaller scale, but I think he completely fits fits that mold. Yeah. But there is something which is kind of a sad story, but I think kind of beautiful and kind of what they're talking about is this thing of eternity and immorality. Or, is immortality. Like, immortality, thank you. Immorality. Just no more <laughs> forever. <laughs> and maybe it is hard to, for like, um, for people to recognize, it's like the same thing of like, you don't know what you've got till it's gone, right? That thing right. of like when we say you got big yellow taxi of like, you don't, maybe it's hard for a world to recognize something until it is gone. It's like Amy Winehouse, right? How like much was she talk, like pe the media was just like all like, she's a drug, she's this, she's that. like, And then as soon as she died, it was like, oh, we lost like this huge, amazing talent. And then all of a sudden, we were talking about like mental health and addiction in like a way that's different than when she was alive and we were like, you know, doing the Britney Spears thing where we're all just like, the media is just like eating up her downfall. Wow, this is heavy. Yeah, it's got dark, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> I like where you took this though. I really, no, I appreciate the things you're bringing up. What was that phrase you used, yellow taxied? Yeah. What is that? You know the Joni Mitchell song? No. Don't you always know, uh, don't it always, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very out. curious where this is going. No, this is not getting cut. Yes. This is all staying in. What's, what's this yellow taxi business about? I'm pretty sure okay. everybody's... It's called... It, it's, um, it's like... Um, you gotta come closer. You keep falling out I get, of, When I get nervous, yeah. I... I get I'm so nervous. Okay. Um, it's like... Uh, don't it always seem to go? Uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone. They pay a paradise and put up a parking lot. Mm -hmm. You know that song? I didn't hear the yellow taxi word in there at all, phrase. The song's not called Yellow Taxi. What is it called? And you didn't say yellow taxi in the lyrics. So I don't know where this is coming from, but I get the point, which is it's in there somewhere, right? <laughs> What's the song called? I don't know. I don't know the song. It is called Yellow. It's it's called that. I oh, it's called Yellow Taxi. I swear. Okay, I, I believe you. I, I I didn't know it was called Yellow Taxi. Okay, we're getting fixated on the Yellow Taxi. I really think it is. Eddie Turner's Gate is a great trailer, and it is good. I am <laughs> it's all seen this movie. <laughs> looking forward to watching this movie. Johnny Mitchell should see this movie. Willem Dafoe it looks like he's doing a wonderful he's job here. So good. And he, Oscar Isaac. I, I love watching Oscar Isaac. Oh, what's his name? The uh, Mickelson. Michael Mickelson or something or another? Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen is this actor who's like, everybody loves him. Everyone loves this actor and I think he's good, but like the love for Mads Mikkelsen is so good huge understand. and I'm like, did I miss something? Like why is everyone revere this guy so much? Like he's, he's obviously good and uh, so much so that Hideo Kojima, the director of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, now has him in his latest video game. I'm like, oh, wow. who is this guy? Like, I mean, I've saw, I saw him in Doctor Strange and no, he's here, but he's obviously good, and I, I'm, I'm sure he'll. I'm sure I'll warm up to him more as time goes on, because he's just keeps. He's not going anywhere. Like, <laughs> he keeps he's showing strange. up in movies. I don't. I unfortunately I don't have much like a reference for him to have an opinion, but I do understand. There's there's actors that I feel like that about. Yeah. I don't get it, but the yeah. world does. Aaron Walker's one of them. I'm just joking. Yeah, but Eternity's Gate looks like a, a very powerful film, and I'm looking forward to watching it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please be sure to check out Aaron Walker on the social media. Subscribe! If you haven't already, check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kowait. This is Aaron Walker. Peace out.